into the world of amazing animal pets. Doing, Henry? Looking for my ideal pet. Pet? But you couldn't get any of those. Tell me about it. Have you seen the price of llamas these days? But what's wrong with a pet like a dog or a cat? Mm, I want something interesting. That's why I'm using this pet service to help me find my ideal companion animal. Ooh. A boa constrictor? <laughs> well, I guess you could cuddle one, but it'd probably be the last thing you did. Oh, any suggestions then? I suggest you think about why you want a pet before you rush into choosing one. Most people have pets to keep them company around the house. That's why they're called domestic animals. Oh, right. Yeah, like a giraffe. He'd be great around the kitchen for reaching the top shelf. Henry, you'd never fit him in your house. You need something smaller. Like a rabbit. Hmm, how about... A hippo? Have you been listening to... A cute chimp? Or even a shark? Cool! If it's fish you want, you'd be better off with goldfish. Sure, they could keep the cat company. Keep it well fed, more like. There really are a lot of things you don't get about pets, aren't there? I am trying. You can say that again. I am. Okay. Maybe you should find one that you know how to take care of, like a dog. A dog? But they need exercise, grooming, they chew the furniture, and... Aww, uh, isn't he cute? Maybe a dog wouldn't be so bad. Well, they are called man's best friend. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm a lizard. <laughs> okay, Henry. But dogs are normally really friendly and very loyal. And there are hundreds of different types to choose from. Hmm, too big. Too small. Okay for polishing the car. I don't think so. And what is that? It's called a pulley. Ooh, okay, could number six turn around please? Cool, a reversible dog. Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Have you found one you like? Whoa, Henry! That's a wolf! So? Let me explain something to you, Henry. Wolves may be the ancestors of domestic dogs, but they aren't pets. Yeah, they wouldn't be too popular with the neighbors making that noise all the time. That noise keeps the family bond strong between all the members of the wolf pack. Packs can have more than 30 wolves all dependent on one dominant adult to look after them. That's why he's called the leader of the pack. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Domestic dogs also need a pack leader to keep them under control. But instead of another dog, they look to their human owners. But there are lots of other ways wolves and dogs are similar. A game of fetch is really your dog's way of proving that it can bring food back to the pack. Just like a wolf in the wild would have to. Shouldn't he be bringing back cans from the store instead of sticks? Henry. Thousands of years of breeding may have produced different sizes and shapes of dog, but it hasn't changed dog behavior very much. All dogs rear their young pretty much the same way. The puppies play and learn the same. They even run around in packs the same. But at the end of the day, they're still domestic animals. These guys 
don't look too housebroken. No, these are wild African hunting dog pups. There can be up to 19 pups in a litter. Wow, that's a lot of mouths to feed. It sure is. And that's why in a hunting dog pack, only one female breeds at a time. That way, all the other pack members have plenty of time to help look after the puppies. If your pet dog has pups, then that's exactly what you'd have to do. Even with just one dog, there's still lots to do. You have to bathe it, exercise it, pay the vet bills. You know, maybe a dog wouldn't be such a good idea after all. Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about why hamsters are so popular. Uh, oh, right. <sighs> Here goes. Uh, the golden hamster may only be a squashy little rodent, but it's one of the most popular pets around. There must be millions of hamsters in homes all over the world. How am I doing so far? Very impressive, Henry. You've been studying for once. Uh, yeah. Sure I have. Anyway, the reason hamsters are so popular is because not long ago, they saved the world. Uh, Henry, no. Yes. To cut a long story short. Too late. It all started when scientists in the desert discovered two hamsters and took them back to the big city. Soon, the hamsters started having babies, lots of babies, and then their babies had babies. It was baby city. All that crying, throwing food and dirty... Henry! Apart from having babies, the hamsters like running in circles, round and round, like a broken record. The scientists saw this and had an idea of how to pay for all the hamster food and little hamster diapers. They built exercise wheels and harnessed hamster power. One hamster could only make enough power to run the tiny little light in the refrigerator, but thousands of hamsters ran around enough to power the whole refrigerator, the reclining sunbed, the hot dog factory and the entire town of Yazoo, Kentucky. They had so much more energy than they needed to run the exercise wheels that they burrowed down into the center of the earth and started running around like maniacs. The earth became a humongous exercise wheel until things started flying off like cars and uh, rhinos and stuff. Only the hamsters could save the planet. They stuck everything to the ground with glue, slowed down to a brisk walk, and switched to decaf. The earth slowed down and everyone was saved. Hooray! And that's why hamsters are so popular. They save the earth. And that's straight from the lizard's mouth. So, did I get an A? No. That was so bad, you get to stay behind after the show. Didn't I even get one bit right? Yeah, but only one. Rats. You were right about them all coming from one family. Ha! Golden hamsters were first discovered in the Syrian desert in 1839. But no more were seen until a hundred years later, when a single adult and her babies were found and taken back to study at a university. The hamsters studied? Smart rodent. Very funny, Henry. Now, one of the first things scientists noticed was how fast hamsters breathe. They can give birth when they're only 16 days old. Excuse me, but that's amazing. Isn't it? Pretty soon, the scientists had more hamsters than they needed. So they started to give them away as pets, and in no time, there were pet golden hamsters all over the world. Now, can you think why they became such popular pets? Sure, because they come with all these neat toys. No, Henry. Toys are each sold separately. But they're important for keeping a pet hamster active and happy. Go on, then. Tell me why hamsters are so popular. Well, Henry, it's basically because... They're so cute. Aw, oh, they still store food in their little chubby cheek pouches, even though they don't need to when their owners are there to feed them. Hey, you never know when you're going to need a snack. Ooh. 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 Uh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's the matter, Henry? You look exhausted. I hate to say it, but I think you were right about that wolf. It just took me for a walk. You mean you took it for a walk? I know what I mean. Oh, dear. What about a cat instead? They're popular pets. You know, the ancient Egyptians used to worship them. Right now, I'll worship anything that doesn't eat my sofa. Okay, then. Bring on the cats. Oh, wants to play hide and seek, huh? I can do that. Henry, where are you going? Say, where'd he go? I like that one. Oh, well. How about a short hair? With this decor, I'd never find him. Ah, here we go. Now, he'd keep the wolf from the door. No, Henry, you can't be serious. Sure, why not? Well, if you don't know, why don't you try petting him and then let me know how many legs you've got left. Whoa, but these guys look so cuddly. Just like house cats, only a bit bigger. A bit bigger? Henry, big cats like lions can weigh more than two men. And their dog. Yeah, I know. But they seem so peaceful and quiet. Ah, oh, look. They even play like pussy cats. Sure. All cats play when they're young. It's practice for when they're adults and need to be skilled at both fighting and hunting. Except where domestic cats hunt mice, lions have to be strong and feisty enough to bring down buffalo and zebra. Okay, so walking them in the park might be a bit dangerous, but they make great guard pets. Big cats are not pets. Wow, they sure are getting mean. But don't some people keep them as pets? Yes, and some people realize their mistake too late, and worse than that, end up having to release them. You mean there are big cats roaming around the countryside? So they say, Henry. Yikes! Like up the tuna! Ah! Uh, am I supposed to be scared? It is a wild cat, Henry. Although it was cats like these that were the first to be tamed by people thousands of years ago. Maybe I'll just tame me a wild cat then. Not easily you won't. There are plenty of people who will tell you that even house cats can't ever be fully tamed. That inside every pussy cat beats the heart of a lion. You're kidding me. Ah, these cuties could never be wild. Don't bet on it. Without human contact, cats soon return to their wild state. Domestic cats that go wild are called feral cats. They join up with other feral cats and form packs that find their own food and never need people. That's one reason why many cats are taken to the vets early in their life, so that if they do escape, they can't have babies all over the place. Wow, I never realized. See, Henry, in some ways, a cat is even more of a responsibility than a dog. Well, yeah, but at least cats take themselves for walks. Sure, sometimes for months at a time. Anyway, what's wrong with walking your pet? You could do with the exercise. Hey, I work out. <laughs> yeah, right. The only thing that ever gets a good workout is your mouth. Still no answer then, Henry? No. How long does it take to select a big, exciting pet that doesn't cost much and doesn't need too much attention? No wonder it's taken so long. You really want the moon on a stick. No. I want a pet. Having any kind of pet is a big responsibility, Henry. You know, I'm not even sure you'd look after a pet properly. I, I would look after it. I would. I would. Fine. But just look at all the things you need to keep a pet healthy and happy. It's a lot more work and expense than you think, Henry. It is? I thought you just played ball with them and stuff. I didn't know you had to send them to college. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, Henry. 
but even the humble guinea pig takes looking after. You have to buy a cage, food, water bowls, and they don't eat just anything either. Give a pet the wrong food and you could make it real sick. Ugh, I get the idea. But goldfish must be easy to keep. Yes, but even they have special requirements. Feed them too much and they can die. Wimps, you could never feed me too much. I'm aware of that, Henry. But it's not just food you have to worry about. Pets can get lonely, too. I thought the idea was they were company for us. Yeah, but you can't talk to them. Not in their own language, anyway. Sure I can. Tweet! What? <laughs> I think you probably just said something nasty about their mother. <laughs> Must have got lost in the translation. The main thing is to give lots and lots of love and affection. Ah, uh, with those guys? I think I could do that. I'm sure you could. You see, the more time you spend with your pets, the happier and healthier they'll be. These guys must be pretty happy. They get petted 24 hours a day. Talk about a dog's life. They may not make the world go round, but there are enough of them to go round the world. In second place is the cat. They're related to the big cats, but they're a lot easier to house train. But the winner of the Golden Gecko Award for the most amazing animal pet is... The Great Dane, the tallest dog in the world. Despite its name, the Great Dane has nothing to do with Denmark. In fact, it first came from Germany about 400 years ago and was probably a cross between a Mastiff and a Wolfhound. Now there's a set of in-laws you wouldn't want to annoy. Great Danes are so big that they prefer to dine at a table. It's too far down for them to eat from a bowl on the floor. Um, could someone get them a napkin, please? Wow, that's either a very big dog or a very small sofa. You were right the first time. Say, did you know the largest Great Dane on record was almost three and a half feet high at the shoulder? And when it stood on its hind legs, it was as tall as a professional basketball player. If you think about it, they've got more in common with horses than dogs. Phew! Amazing! I know. But even though they're so big, they're one of the gentlest dogs around. Maybe I should get one then. Henry, you'd have to stand on a box just to reach its knees. And they eat more in one meal than you eat in a week. And considering your pizza consumption, that's a lot of food. Okay, okay. Hey, don't breathe on the lens. Henry, where are you? Up here! Ah! <laughs> Henry, what were you doing on that pony? Well, if I'm going to be spending all that time taking care of a pet, I may as well get one that'll earn its keep. Well, it can be a good idea. Many animals do work for their owners, but... But nothing! Right, Pooch? That's not just any Pooch, Henry. That sheepdog can round up more than a hundred sheep at a time. Yeah? But can he do this? Uh, the real point is, you don't have any sheep. So? So you've got no work for a sheepdog to do. Sure I have. They don't do housework, Henry. Oh. Oh, what's that noise, Henry? It sounds like... Oops. No sheep, eh? Last time I listened to you. Bad luck, Henry. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
The sheepdog is one of the hardest working animals in the world. They round up sheep all day, come rain or shine. Hmm, well, this guy isn't working so hard. Nope, that's Scruffy. He's new, and today he's watching and learning. They have to go to school, too? Boy, it sure is a dog's life for a pet. They're not pets, Henry. They're working animals. There's no time to relax when there's a farm to run. You gotta be quick when there's that many sheep to round up. Typical. She spends her time whistling while the dogs do the hard work. Henry, she is working. Those whistles tell the dogs which way to go next. And they understand? Amazing! And in they go. Those are two smart doggies. I hope you were paying attention, Scruffy. I'm sure he was. After all, he wants to be a sheepdog too one day. Wait a minute! They missed a couple! Oh, no! All right, now's your chance! Show them what you learned, boy! Those sheep think they've escaped! <laughs> Just wait till Scruffy finds them! And here he comes! Yeah! And it's Lamsey and Minsauce neck and neck! But Scruffy's coming up fast! And they're through the gate! And it's Scruffy too! Sheep nothing! Scruffy the winner! I hope she's gonna thank him. He just saved her sheep! Patience, Henry. She is. Hmm. Maybe Scruffy gets to graduate from sheepdog school now. Huh? They got Scruffy hauling timber? That's not Scruffy! Nope, that's an elephant. Duh. Some elephants work hard for a living, too, you know. Excuse me, elephants work? I thought you just ate peanuts and flew around with their ears and stuff. No. In Asia, they're used to lift and pull really heavy loads, especially on steep mountainsides where modern bulldozers and tractors can't operate. Hmm, now that guy could be useful. He could carry all my groceries home from the store. Oh, Henry. Hey, I was watching that. Henry? Will you tell this guy to stop hogging the remote control? You never learn, do you? You can't keep an elephant as a pet. Mm, you're telling me. So is that what the pet service selected as your ideal pet? Nah, I was just trying it out. I'm bored waiting for the answer. You're still waiting? Yeah, feels like forever. It is a big decision, Henry. Hey, here it comes. Well, well, come on. A cactus? Ah, uh, never mind, Henry. At least you won't have to work too hard taking care of it. True. My new best friend. Just goes to show, Henry. The world is full of amazing animal pets. You just have to find the one that suits you best, even if it is a plant. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. 